Hello once again. Uh, in our last session, uh, we were able to see the two main sections of the form builder, that is the schema editor and the interactive builder. And now we want to look at uh, some of the key features and the functionalities uh, in the schema editor, even as we prepare to do our form building. Uh, we have the import schema. The import schema uh, feature uh, in the schema editor is basically uh, or provide us with the ability to import a schema. So if you have an existing schema from somewhere, uh, maybe uh, you have borrowed a form from another organization and you would like it to use and maybe just maybe do some small modifications or any form of modification uh, for that form or use it as it is, you can basically import. I have, uh, for example, the mental health assessment form, which I can use to show you how you just uh, are able to import that into your schema editor. So once you open that uh, and you import, you have it now in your schema editor. And if you let the changes and preview, you can now see how the form is going to look like. So maybe there are some things that you don't want uh, within this form and you either want to uh, remove or to add uh, more fields. Um, you have the provision to either use the interactive builder or still the schema editor to now do your modification. Uh, before we look at those modification, uh, let me show you also that you have another feature called input uh, dummy schema uh, within the schema editor. And this one now, uh, for example, helps you to um, start your form or generate you with some uh, predefined questions uh, within a form and uh, gives you a start build your form. It really doesn't have uh, the questions for you, uh, but it, for example, you can see that we already have some sample questions like one um, which led us as a text input, another one which led us as a choice um, or selection. And uh, if you look into this, uh, it's already have two sections. Um, that now you can continue building in from, uh, you are able to edit uh, these sections and uh, uh, rename them the way you would like to. Uh, let me rename this as, for example, uh, the patient details, patient details, uh, and save that. And uh, I can decide to uh, duplicate this question. I edit this question or I can delete this question and basically add uh, my, my question. But this is just really to help you to kickstart to kick start your uh, form building process. So if I add a question, basically it will give me uh, all that I need or uh, will ask me for all that I need to be able to create the new um, question. So let me put uh, my new question as, for example, just using an example, visit it for the patient. Uh, visit it, capture that uh, using the camel case. And that is a uh, question ID, which is uh, you should be unique for each question. And then I can select whether my uh, field is going to be optional or required. Then choose an, um, a question type. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to choose OBS. And this is a date, uh, as you can see. So the rendering type, basically I want this to render as a date. And uh, I need to also use a backing concept. So if you know of uh, the backing concept exist, you can go ahead and uh, basically search that uh, within your uh, system and uh, 
let me use this return visit date uh, as you can see it's it it has the the coding and the various mappings so we do have the uh the CL code which is 1596 so if i also used 1596 to search that assuming that i knew that uh code i would still get this and you can see that we have some coding like the snowmed uh, linked to that um when i do save that and uh, then render the changes and preview you can see that that field now has been added and now i can even go ahead and delete this one uh, because i don't need that i need to build my form scrum from scratch and uh, now you can continue building the various questions that you need to build in here and uh, if you need a different section uh, you can rename this section now um, as uh, as another section uh, depending on how your form is structured and uh, yeah so i have talked about preview um, i've talked about the render changes so uh, once you make any edits on your form uh, or you do uh, some changes on your form you should basically um, render the changes uh, so as so that you can be able to preview those the changes that you have made on the form so something important here also to note is that now you can copy this schema maybe to another uh, system uh, or another uh, if, if you have opened another system and maybe you just want to copy that or even to to put it in another place like for saving purposes uh, like in the visual code or where you usually do save your your schemas uh, and again you can also download this schema so already you can see that this is now downloaded and uh, i can as well do save this uh, schema um, for backup purposes and maybe when i need to import it again i can just go back to the import schema and uh, let me see be able to see this is what i have just downloaded be able to now uh, open that and continue uh, building my form uh, until I finalize uh, the form. Yeah, and uh, this is that is basically it in terms of uh, the introduction and the basics, the, the key functionalities and features within the form builder. Uh, in the next session, there will be much more now into the actual form building itself. We'll see how uh, one is able to create a new form, uh, how you're able to save your form, uh, and also how to validate your form and uh, publish. For now, um, we're going to stop there. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.